welcome to another episode on Common Room's YouTube channel. I'm Roma Absunod of Common Room PH. And today, we're going to talk about a room. <laughs> so it's going to be an, a room tour episode and a room makeover episode. We just decided to release it now because my husband and I are expecting our first baby girl. We'll be redecorating the space again for a nursery and sana bago namin ayusin na naman yung buong lugar namin dito, eh, ma-share namin sa inyo how we design the space, how we laid out the space, etc. And hopefully, it's going to be a useful episode for you. So the episode will have three parts. Why we decided to say goodbye to our three-bedroom unit and move in into a bedroom in our parents' house. How were we able to fit all of the things in our three-bedroom unit into this bedroom space? And number three, of course, the design considerations when we were moving into this room and, you know, the room tour and some makeover tidbits that we did when we were moving in. So there, so let's start. Why did we say goodbye to our very, very beautiful three-bedroom unit? So my husband and I decided to move in to a three-bedroom unit in 2020 because we were already at the stage of our relationship na we're thinking long-term already. We actually really, really love the space. Two balconies, so we were able to fill it with a lot of plants. It's well lit. We have a big kitchen. I have an office space. We have a big master bedroom. And then third bedroom was actually transformed by the owners into a walk-in closet, which was good for us. Definitely an upgrade from our studio unit before. It was a very, very nice house. And then, you know, you know what happened. 2020 happened. <laughs> and just when we just finished moving into the space and making the space our home, the pandemic hit. So one of the reasons why our units are always located in the south is because it's closer to the stores. Um, in the event that there is an emergency or there are meetings where we can easily go to one of the stores which is either ABC, Rockwell, or Ayala Bay. So it's closer to the stores. But then the pandemic hit and then Katipuna closed and we had to move into a studio space. And the studio space is actually in the north. It's near our parents' house. It's in the same village as our parents' house. So, kumbaga, ang layo-layo namin doon sa main bulk of work ng common room. So, it was really hard for me because, you know, the business was struggling and we really need to focus all of our efforts in the digital space. And I'm so far away from where it is all happening. That's why we decided, okay, let's just go back to our parents' house. Let's fix the room there. So there, we decided to say goodbye to our three-bedroom unit in the south so that we can focus all of our attention to common room. So the next question would be, how will we be able to fit all the things from the three-bedroom unit to this bedroom? <laughs> But I know it's just a very difficult challenge with a very simple answer. <laughs> we just can't fit them all. So, with that, the next question would be, what are our non-negotiables? Ibig sabihin, ano yung mga ayaw namin mawala? What are the things that needs to stay in the bedroom? So, definitely one would be our bed <laughs> because doon kami matutulog. So, that's a non-negotiable. Of course, my husband and I are working from home, so we need a table for sure where we can work. Of course, our TV. Also, since we are also somehow a family unit on our own, we wanted a semblance of separation. So we wanted our own ref and our own kitchen stuff in the same room. So that's a big challenge because we wanted a pantry inside the room. And of course, the most important part is <laughs> our plants, of course. Kailangan talaga mapagkasya namin lahat ng plants sa three-bedroom unit namin into this bedroom space. Bago ko makalimutan, we had the walk-in closet in the old unit. 
So, ibig sabihin, marami talaga kaming clothes and we need to find space for all of those clothes as well. And of course, my husband's non-negotiable, which is his shoes. So, those are our non-negotiables. So, what will happen to the things that we will not be bringing in inside this space? Initially, what was simply a room makeover became a house makeover. <laughs> over. Kasi kailangan namin pagkasyahin sa iba't ibang lugar ng bahay yung mga gamit namin na hindi mapagkakasya sa room. We are moving in to a house of seven family members. In a pandemic, na lahat ng tao confined in the house, dadagdag pa kami sa house. That's a big challenge. When you move into a space, you have to be considerate with the people that you were are moving into, right? My dad had this brilliant idea to actually give each family member their own spaces because before, my sisters used to share a room. And the old bed in our room had to be transferred there. So we have two king beds na hindi namin alam kung saan ilalagay. So we gave that bed to my sister when we transformed that clothes room into her own room. We have two couches in our old condo since one of the bedroom that my sisters used to share is now just the room for one of my sister and occasionally maan if she visits the house. Kasyang kasya dun yung couch. So dun na punta yun. Yun, happy na siya. She has her own space. She's also working from home so the setup was very nice. So both of them have their own spaces already. So what happened to the other couch since we're not bringing that big couch in the living room in this room dahil medyo masikip siya. So, we decided to put that in the studio space because the studio space is big enough for it. We also decided that the studio space needs an area to lounge as well. So, it was a perfect space for our old couch. Next, what happened to the clothes in the clothes area? Most of the stocks of common room that used to be stored in our attic space have been transferred to the studio space na free up yung attic. We decided to convert it into somehow a walk-in closet for the entire family. And then, we also had to fix the sampayan here in the house dahil hindi talaga namin mapagkasya lahat ng plants ko sa condo into this bedroom space. So, we, I had to create a second garden in the house for all of my dirty garden work. Dun ako nagpapropagate, dun ako nag-determinate ng seeds, etc. And on top of all of those changes, we really need to increase our living space. That backyard used to be where the Pop Chunk Club team works, but because we already have a studio space, they were transferred there. They have their own workspace in the studio space. So the the nice now free. So we did the hard task of fixing it and transforming it into a family space, a bigger garden area. There's a ping pong table there. There's a swing there. A boxing space. There's a space to play games, etc. Okay, so daming nang yare for this simple room make over. Now that all of those things are done and completed, everything was easy na. Dahil, we're just going to think about ourselves na, which is our room. So, mechanical na lahat. So, I decided to, you know, have the measurements of all of the things that we will keep. And that's when I decided to play around with the layout in my iPad first. So, ikot-ikot ng mga gamit doon. We moved in just one day and then the space was livable already. <laughs> Ganun siya kabilis because talagang mas mahirap is where to put the other things. Before we moved in, we had all of the space repainted. All of the dirty works like the drilling of the TV, the frames, etc. My propagation wall. All of those were done already before the move-in so that all of the dirty things are fixed. The balcony is already ready for the plants. And the room tour, the most awaited room tour. <laughs> so let's go around the house. Hello, room! So, 
This is our room. Um, napaka-ikling room tour nito dahil this is our dining area slash work area. This is our bedroom. And this is our mini pantry. The one that I told you earlier. We wanted our own space for our ref and our own snacks. This is my old bar. TV console turned divider when we go here. And then say hello to my new garden. <laughs> Since maliit lang yung space namin, ang pinaka big furniture namin na talagang major challenge for us was our bedroom. Because our old condo had a really big master bedroom. So, you know, we had the option to buy a big bed, which is what we did. We had a big bed. So that's the problem because the bed has a big headboard and it would be better if the headboard is, you know, lined up in the wall. But it can't be laid out that way because it will eat up too much space in the room. Mawawalan kami ng walking area. What we did is, since it's a design challenge, so we made it look intentional that the headboard is like, you know, a divider of our bedroom and the pantry. So, nilagyan namin siya ng mga plants and our old bar that now has our kitchen stuff and snacks, etc. Now, it looks it very intentional, right? It divides the space into a bedroom and a pantry. Since this is the headboard, when we sleep, it's like this. So when we wake up, this is our view. Very nice, right? Yung bed namin can be a couch or a bed so we can watch TV. And then since there are wires here, we hid it with this plant box. Plant is the solution to all of the problems in our lives. <laughs> so we have an extra shelf here for some of our plates and some of our things that we usually use for work and again to make it look prettier we put plants this wall is now our prep propagation wall so those bottles have water so this is our extension of our room this is usually where we eat when we feel like eating outdoors and then at night this is where we you know hang out so anyway, that's it. That's very practical. We may have a smaller living space, but you know, I think the quality of life is better, right? Just look at the nature around the room, diba? It's so nice. Okay, that's, that's it. <laughs> Hope um, hope you got something from the tour, the makeover, the room makeover that's actually a house makeover. Hopefully, may nakuha kayong tips sa episode na to. I hope you like it. Um, if you do, please like. And if you have comments or suggestions, feel free to comment below. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe and support us. Ayun lang guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Bye!